and students so far criminally charged in connection with the recent rash of threats made to local schools. And 10 News was there when police arrested this teenager for threats to Torrey Pines High School last month. Team 10's Melissa Masiha spoke to the district attorney about the increase in this activity. And Kim, District Attorney Summer Stefan said we are seeing a copycat effect since the deadly shooting in Parkland, Florida to now. So about a month, we have had 19 cases. So the DA has seen 19 cases of threats reported to them. Before that, since 2014, there were 45 cases total. So quite an increase here. This was one of the most recent threats posted on Snapchat, a threat to shoot up Rincon Middle School. Classes were canceled Thursday because of it. DA Summer Stefan said even if they find there's no intent to carry out a shooting, if there is intent to cause fear, the person responsible could face a felony charge of making criminal threats. Students could receive punishment ranging from jail time, community service, and access to social media taken away, ordered by the judge. We can't assume that the threat is a joke. We have to look at do they have access to weapons? Have they acquired weapons recently? Have they visited websites that indicate a fascination with school shootings and with violence? DA Summer Stefan said they have a team dedicated to this, identifying who makes those threats. She said most of those responsible for it are young, majority are male, and come from all sorts of backgrounds. Some of the threats here are still under investigation. Now, even if criminal charges are not filed in those cases, the DA said they will work with the teen and the family to make sure it doesn't happen again. Reporting live in the newsroom, Melissa Masiha, Team 10.